Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we're going to talk about one of the great Sahaba, and he is so related to the Prophet. He's the uncle of the Prophet. His name is Sa'd ibn Abi Waqqas. And Sa'd ibn Abi Waqqas accepted Islam. And when he accepted Islam, his mother was so upset. And she started to oppress him and pressure him to leave Islam and go back to idol worshiping. And when that happened, he felt that he was torn between two fires. What shall I do? So he went to the Prophet وسلم, and he asked him, he said, Prophet of Allah, my mother is upset with me and she wants me to go back to idol worshiping, but I love Islam, what shall I do? So when the Prophet وسلم, asked him, he said, who do you love more? Do you love Islam more or your mother? He said, of course, I love Islam more. My mother is pressuring me and she's told me that if I don't go back and leave Islam, she's not gonna eat. She's not gonna take a shower until she dies. And then people will blame her death on me and I will live with this disgrace for the rest of my life. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this ayah in Surah Luqman, Surah number 31, ayah number 13, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَإِن جَاهَدَاكَ عَلَىٰ أَن تُشْرِكَ بِمَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٍ فَلَا تُطِعْهُمَا وَصَاحِبْهُمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا مَعْرُوفًا Meaning, when your parents try to exercise pressure on you and they ask you to associate partners with Allah to commit shirk, which is polytheism, do not listen to them when it comes to shirk. Yet, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَصَاحِبْهُمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا مَعْرُوفًا Meaning, befriend them, be nice to them, treat them in a nice way, even though if they're pressuring you to leave Islam. Have full respect for them, but don't obey them if they ask you to commit shirk. And this is why Sa'd ibn Abi Waqqas went back to his mom and he said to her, Mom, if you have 100 souls and I have seen you, dying 100 times in front of my own eyes, I would never leave Islam. So she started eating and she took a shower.